Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week, we're at Yuma, Arizona for Midnight at the Oasis. This show's in its 17th year, and it's held at the Ray Kroc Baseball Complex. This used to be the spring training facility for the San Diego Padres, but today, it is cool car heaven. There's absolutely everything here, and the quality of the cars is beyond belief. Let me take you on a little tour and show you what I'm talking about. Hey Jonathan. Dennis, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. So I mean, am I. This is unbelievable. Thank you. What What a hoo-ha you got going here. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> this is really a fabulous show. What year? 17th year, 17th right? 17th year for Midnight at the Oasis here in New Arizona. And this is all put on by, by volunteers, and it was really something that was started, I mean, at least your group was started back in the 60s just to kind of promote Yuma, started right? Started back in the 60s, a way to promote Yuma, and it kind of filled in the gap when uh, the San Diego Padres went the way of uh, spring training in the uh, Phoenix area and we were looking for an opportunity to do something for the people of Yuma, and this kind of uh, just filled the gap, and it's just grown and taken on a life of its own. The diversity of the cars is, is fabulous, and the quality of the cars. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, you commented on it yesterday, saying that there was a couple of cars that you hadn't seen in a very long time. Yeah. I love it, absolutely love it. So, and, and, and this year, it's you. You are Captain Midnight. I am Captain Midnight. Cap Captain Midnight. <laughs> it's easy to build upon the work that everybody else has done for the uh, previous years. I mean, we have a great group of people, the Caballeros and the, and the people that have been Captain Midnight before just make it easier for the next person to do it because they keep growing the event. And so when you take it over, you have their support because they want it to be successful. So you've got 60 guys that are out here backing you up. I can't think of a better place to be in early March than uh, Yuma, Arizona at Midnight No place the better Oasis. to be. And the thousands of winter visitors that are here can attest to that fact. <laughs> <laughs> well, snowbirds. And they're digging the cars today. And they're digging the cars. Oh, Captain Midnight, I know you got work to do, and I do too, but let's look at a few cars let's before we get serious. That. All right, All man. Right. Well, David, this is a really nice uh, 56 Chevy wagon, but I don't think it looked like this when it came out of the factory. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, what's, what's the story? I mean, you obviously shortened this fairly significantly. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, just uh, wanted something different. What did you start with? Was she, you know, I mean, was it a, in good shape to start with, and you just hacked, hacked it down, or? Uh, it was. It's seen better days. It was, <laughs> it was a little bent up when I got it. It was T-boned in the rear end Ooh. and uh, right in the rear door, and we threw it in storage for a while, and just sitting around eating dinner one night, me and my dad, and came up with something to do with it, either do that or get rid of it. Well, I think you did a great job in the interior too. I mean, it's it's nice, and to me, she looks like she's built for comfort. A little bit. If it was a little bit shorter, it'd be nice. Even more comfortable, right? Yeah, it would. <laughs> but uh, it's just so much fun to drive, so it you really don't even don't notice mind. it. It don't bother me. I like that, you know, the leather kind of velour combo. Did you guys come up with that or your upholster? Uh, the upholster guy and probably my dad. Uh, I was out doing my school deal and yeah. uh, when the upholstery shop was had my car. Well, you know, let's take this this two-step walk to the back of the car. Yeah, not much there. <laughs> not, much, not much effort in that. All right, so you uh, basically built a, a, a thing back here. What's that made out of? Uh, wood, plywood. And then just, again, upholstered and that yep. same kind of leather velour combo and a little bit of storage under there and maybe yeah. some under farther. That's, you know, that's, that's really nice. It's well thought out. Well, David, close it up and let's take that equally short walk up to the front and okay. see what powers this baby. <laughs> Wow, that's that's nice and bright. Yeah, <laughs> with plenty of chrome and, and brushed, a lot of yellow, brushed aluminum, and all that yellow. Yep. Well, what are you? I'm looking at a 350. Yeah. 350 Chev. And boy, she's smooth. Did you have to cut the firewall at all to fit it, or is she dropped? No, nope, that's uh, stock. Just uh, did the little smoothing on the firewall. It got rid of some holes that I didn't want there, and uh, that's about it. And you, it looks like you're plenty cooled. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Aftermarket radiator. So, so does she does she run cool? Oh yeah, it doesn't. It normally doesn't get any hotter than about 180. Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> it's completely insane. I, but I really like it. I, I think you guys did great work, and I'm Thank so you. glad you brought it out today, Thank man. Thank you. Appreciate 56 it. 56 Chevy Charty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something different. Sharp. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Steve. This is a 1960 Buick Invicta land yacht, basically, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> I, 
I love these. I love these big Buicks. And the 59 and the 60 were similar body styles, but they sort of they sort of toned it down a little bit in the 60s. The bat wings of 59 were really crazy back here. Yes, they were. They they toned it down and subdued it, and they curved out curved down the. Uh the tail fin here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of the things that I that I like about this car is the 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 interior. Of these the the original and you've got the original interior. The original right? upholstery. Um, yeah, like it needs to be redone. But you know what? Fifty year old upholstery. It's not, not bad. Not for 50 bad. Years not old. bad. I can live with it. But what I loved about the '60 was the dash. I mean, this is a dash killer. Is, dash, dash is really and cool. It does tricks, right? It does much. Show tricks. me some tricks. Okay, let me show you. What they have up here is a uh, a mirror, which actually is a reflection of the dash. The speedometer so is looking flat. At the, I'm not You're looking, looking at, at a the... reflection of the speedometer, which lays flat, and you can adjust the height to however your seating position is in the car. Great okay. steering wheel, you know, very airy steering wheel, and the 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 selector, the the gear selector yes. with the Buick bomber sight still. Yes, oh cool. man, I mean, it's, it's just really a, cool. that is a killer dash. Now I'm, I'm sure this is Buick through and through, so we got a yes, it Buick is under the hood. Okay, yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> Wildcat 445. Yes, yeah, the 401 nail head, uh, the largest motor that Buick uh, produced in that year. And that 445 apartment. was their, their torque spec, 445 foot-pounds of torque, because Buick guess. engines, they were torque monsters, and they, they were proud of it, real proud. So. Yes, they were. I love the lines of this, you know, the this line that starts here and goes all the way to the back, and you got some, you got a lot of teeth there. There's 87 grill teeth in there, I've counted them. 87 grill teeth. 87 grill teeth. Yeah, I said 86, 87. Man, I, I love these cars. They're just, they're, they're so fun to drive, and they look great going down the road. Now, have you been to the Midnight at the Oasis This is before? my first year in this beautiful car show. We got great weather, and it's well organized. I mean, this is unbelievable. On the grass, it's like, it's a baseball stadium. It's yeah. like golf course grass. It's beautiful. It doesn't get much better than this. It doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> Nor does it get much better than your 60 and well, Thank you very much, Steve. Dennis. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. What a land yacht. I love it. Thanks. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Paul, this is a this is a Dodge 57 swept side pickup, right? Yes, that's correct. That this is only the second one of these I've ever seen in my life. Uh, they're very, very rare, and they, well, they're so wild, they look like they were customs, but well, they're the, not, right? The, they're not. There were 500 of them built, and uh, Dodge uh, engineers gave uh, uh, the go-ahead and do something to compete with Chevrolet's Cameo and Ford's Ranchero in 57, and they made 500 of these, and uh, then they continued on in 58 and 59, uh, only changing the headlights. They used 57 two-door station wagon quarter panel. That's right, I mean, that's one of the things that's different. The Cameo had, they were basically fiberglass, you know, overlays, but this is actually the, the rear quarter from their station wagon, right? Yes, and that's why there's so few of them left is they were terrible for rusting out. Now you got caddy taillights, 59 caddy taillights though. Yeah, I, I had a, the truck about done and couldn't find any lenses, so I uh, was at actually at midnight at the Oasis here last year. <laughs> A vendor had these, I bought them, took them home, and here they are again you know, this year. It, it, they look amazingly good on this truck, actually, because you know <laughs> well, they, the points kind of go with the point on the fender. But. Right. Well, the, yeah, my, my dad being an old cattle rancher, though, he said when he saw it, if I backed up to the load and shoot, I'd probably knock him off. <laughs> well, you know, that he's probably right on yeah, that, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. now, have you, you know, right. you, are you hot rodded it up front, or you got a different engine? No, or? no, we left it stock. Uh, now this hood's different too. I mean, didn't they have the... Yeah, Dodge originally had a, a butterfly hood open from both sides. This 57 was the first year, the alligator style. That's what they call it. It opens up like a alligator or a crocodile mouth. Wow. And uh, Other than the air cleaner, that does look original. Yeah, and I would have left the original one, but it was so rusty that, uh, and it was an oil bath, so yeah. I opted to put on a dry type. But how big, 315? It's a 315 poly engine man yeah. well i'm telling you this this is just a gorgeous truck the single well, headlights you. of 57 it's just i mean it's beautiful and people must do they think you've customized this do they think you've, you've built I, this i have been accused of uh, cutting up a car and putting a pot <laughs> everything else and you tell people they built it and they still don't believe you and then i've got a little article that i drag out and show them and it's so there right yeah so there <laughs> well, they did you, do it yes it's the only one here it's only the second one i've seen in my life Paul, I absolutely love your truck. Thank you. You've made my day. Your truck made my day. Thank <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Doug, this is the most amazing fire truck I think I've ever seen. This is a 
United Kenworth? Yes. What, what, what's the it's, United uh, Kenworth? It's made by uh, United Aircraft Corporation for Kenworth Corporation out of Seattle. And they made five of them for the city of Los Angeles. And Beverly Hills piggybacked on with that order, and they ordered one of these trucks at the same time also. And only five. How did you come to own this, though? Oh, how, did it, how did it come into your hands? I searched for a long time. I saw it at a, at a place down in Escondido, and a friend of mine owned it. And I just kept, every month, I'd call him and ask him if he wanted to sell it. <laughs> and I just kept calling and calling. And then in one month, he said, OK. Yeah, you I'll you wore him down, huh? I did. I won. <laughs> OK, can you open it up? I'd like to see sure. inside. Oh, man. There's a lot of room there. <laughs> and uh, you've, you've updated it a bit, I would say. Uh, the gauging is different. Well, we put gauges in it, new gauges, new uh, tachometer and speedometer, because we drive it on the road. We don't trailer it. Uh -huh. And uh, so we just want to make it world, uh, road worthy and uh, safe. <laughs> uh. I mean, it's so wild. It's a lot of headroom. A lot of yeah. headroom. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And you got the little jump seats in back. Yeah, grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, and where, where's the engine? Uh, it's a mid-engine. We have to get up there to look at it? Yeah, you do. All right, let's have, let's have a look. Yep. It's a ways up there. This is where the firemen used to ride back here. Man. That's when it was fun. That, that brass snorkel is gorgeous. That monitor is absolutely the best. Man. You see that on a boat normally, but uh, it, it's just quality. It's beautiful. And is that a, uh, a big block uh, Chev I'm looking at? That's a big block Chevy. <laughs> it didn't come with a big block Chev, did it? No, it didn't. Well, yeah, that's a little extra. <laughs> what, did, what did it originally have? It had a Hall Scott pancake motor, very similar to what you would see in a school bus. Oh, okay. Now, did, uh, did you bring that in from underneath? Did you drop we it from the top? We, we brought a crane in and set it from up top. Wow. Well, is this, is this like a huge hit on any and every parade on the entire planet? Everywhere we go. I've only been showing it for one year, yeah. and it just, it's a hit. It's number one. It, it is it's number one. It's the only one left that I know of. Wow. I am so glad you brought it here today, man. <laughs> Thank you. You're my hero. <laughs> this is fabulous. Yeah. 41 United Kenworth. Right. Wow. Cool. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Bob, <clears throat> I've been hunting you all day. I've been hunting me a Bob. <laughs> because I saw this car early on today, and it's a, th what, a 33 Vicky? 33 but Vicky. It just stopped me in my tracks. This is stunningly beautiful. Of course, you know, I mean, candy apple red, how can you go wrong? Yeah. But wow. Now, did you build it? I did not build it. Uh, Ron Kester of, of uh, Ron Kester's uh, Restorations in Glade, Kansas, he was the builder. It took him two and a half years to build it. But wow. uh, well, it sets on a 32 frame. It really does. Yep, and it has the VIN numbers to match. Uh, and let's start with it. Let's start with the grill, which is fabulous. I mean, just stunning. This is uh, a Dan Fink's uh, uh, out of Orange County uh, grill. What a yeah. chop on the thing, too! And it's this cant, you know. Yeah, slope it's uh, one and three quarters in the back, and up to three and a half in the front here on the chop. The running with, boards yes. look, look great, and, and yes. I, your cutouts have got. Harley Davidson uh, plugs in them, right? Yes, they're the Harley <laughs> Davidson valve covers that I use for the cutouts. And what a fabulous interior. Who yeah. did the interior? Uh, the interior was done by Tracy Weaver out of Omaha, Nebraska. And yeah. there's no knobs anywhere. No. There's no shift lever. There's, there's, no... there's no nothing. It's all sanitary. That was one of my purposes, no, you know, sanitary look. Sanitized for your protection. Yes, right? yes. <laughs> absolutely, yes. <laughs> wow. So, but I, you know, I just I love the stance of this car. Your gold leaf just Thank sets yes. it off so beautifully. In the LED, and yes, the LED. Lights, that's uh, the stop lights, and it's also my turn indicator. I saw the rear. Is that Jag? No, it's not Jag. It's done by Jerry Cool. Well, what I want is to see what's underneath this hood. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's what's awesome. Well, let's have a look. Okay. Holy mackerel. Isn't that something? That's a, <laughs> and, and that's something. That yes, is a, a, yes, that is something. Whoa. That is a 502, 502 with a 671 blower. It's, and I like the 33 Vicky oh, engraved on, in on there. the valve covers. Yes, is, very yes, nice. Yes, thank you. Holy thank you. cow. Well, I, yeah. I tell you, I mean, every, in, at every turn, this is just a showstopper. It's a work of art. Well, thank you. Well, Bob, like I said, I, I, I hunted you all day. This was just one of the most beautiful cars in this whole show. I got to tell you. You brought a winner here. Thank you. Oh man, what an incredible show. Midnight at the Oasis is an absolute blast. And I gotta tell you, there are worse places to be in early March than Yuma, Arizona. Check this one out. 
So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring.